Oh, college football national championship game, Georgia, TCU, Horn Frogs, the first Big 12 team to reach the game in the CFP era. The conference is seeking its first national championship since 2005, and then Texas beat USC. This will be the fifth series meeting between TCU and Georgia, first since the 2016 Liberty Bowl. Georgia perfects 4-0 against the Frogs, having outscored them 143. 62. And Georgia looking to be the first repeat champion since Alabama 2011 and 2012. Bulldogs have won 16 straight games, one shy of matching the longest win streak in program history. And let's start with a couple of team reports, bringing in Mark Schleyball, who is with the Georgia Bulldogs. And Schleyball, look, not only does Georgia have a chance to make history and repeat Monday, but it's also Stetson Bennett's last game as their starter. What's he saying about this historic final farewell. Yeah, Matt, it might seem like Stetson Bennett has been playing at Georgia forever, and the former walk-on has been here for parts of six years. Against TCU on Monday night in the College Football Playoff National Championship, he'll play his final college game. He knows how he wants to be remembered. Just tough dude. Um, I guess I think, I think I'm pretty damn tough. Um, and that's a good one for people to say about you. So, yeah, I'll take tough. As the end nears, Stetson uh, is taking a few moments to reflect on his remarkable journey. Yeah, no, not really. Um, I'm proud of the way that I've handled things, and I'm not proud of the way that I've handled some things. You know, uh, people get caught up in the end so much, but like I can, like good Lord, I screwed a lot of things up, you know? And like now things are going good, like people don't see that. And, and But I still remember when I, you know, didn't do things right and didn't, wasn't ready. And I, when I wasn't that great at football and I didn't really know what was going on. And so, I, I, it's not a one man team sport, right? It's not like, you know, maybe if I had went out there and won five Wimbledons, then I'd be like, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty dope, you know. Um, but I don't know, it just, every day I just did what made sense to do that day. And then, you know, keep stacking days and now we're here. Matt, not, well, Georgia will not only try to become the first team in the CFP era to win back-to-back -back national championships, Bennett will try to become only the eighth quarterback to lead his team to consecutive national titles since 1947. And he would be the first one to do it after starting his career as a walk-on. But don't forget, five Wimbledons, that would be dope. And, and Bennett's 903 win percentage at Georgia, also dope. The second best in SEC history behind Alabama's Jay Barker at 934. That's Mark Schleyball with the Georgia Bulldogs. As we now switch over to TCU, ESPN reporter Chris Budden joining us now from beautiful Fort Worth, Texas. And TCU has not won a national title since 1938. So since taking over last December, what has Sonny Dykes told you about the potential, Chris, of this year's team? Sonny Dykes took over this team at 13 months ago, and I asked him, what did he see back then that would lead him to believe that this was possible? And he said, Chris, quite frankly, we didn't know what we had, but maybe that's a good thing because we didn't know what the ceiling would be for this team. And he's continued to use the phrase, we're building this plane as we fly it. But if you were to ask him or any player on this team, what's the one thing behind the scenes that's made this possible? And they'll tell you, it's strength and conditioning coach Kaz Kazadi, who came over with Sonny from SMU. You. He has given this team a sense of confidence, and he's way more than a strength and conditioning coach. He's a mentor, he's a life coach, he's a father-like figure, and he's put them through some incredibly difficult workouts and life lessons that when you have that confidence, it plays out on the field. That Sonny Dykes even said in his press conference yesterday, the things that they've been through, it's allowed them to build this bond and confidence that maybe no one else has. And while everyone else thinks they're the underdog, Matt, they don't view them themselves. Yeah, they've certainly proven people wrong Saturday in and Saturday out. And finally, Chris, before you go, can we get a status update? This is big on TCU's leading rusher and running back Kendra Miller. Yeah, right now, Kendra Miller is questionable. He left that game against Michigan with a knee injury. No update yet on whether or not he's been able to practice. He'll likely be a game-time decision. But senior running back Amari DiMarcato 
is practicing as if he's going to be the starter. He racked up 150 yards in the Fiesta Bowl. We'll find out more throughout the week. Matt. Yeah, and worth pointing out, Zach Evans, he's a five-star kid coming out of high school, transferred out of TCU this year, went to Ole Miss. So the running back depth will be something to watch in this game. Miller, the only player in Big 12 history with a rushing touchdown in 13 different games. Chris Budden, live in Fort Worth. Go get some fuzzies tacos, Chris. Thank you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.